Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of Google Shopping Feed app by Simprosis. In this video, we are going to see how to assign attributes to the products using bulk edit feature of the app. Once your products get synced with the app and merchant center, you can do edits in the different attributes of products in one by one manner or using filtering and bulk edit facility of the app. Our app supports highest number of feed attributes. But at the same time, it is a challenge to optimize them whenever it is needed. It is even more challenging to optimize them in bulk when your catalog is fairly large. Once you land on to manage products page, you should be able to see the list of the products. Filter products drop down and search bar will let you reach to a particular group of products depending upon the filtering options you use. Here is the list of filtering options we have. Let us try to see how the filtering options work. Now in this case, I am going to apply the filter of product type and jeans as a product type. Then applying the search bar filter of women. It will apply with and condition in between both the filters. It means product must qualify for all the fitlering options applied. Now we have all the products with product type as jeans and women in the products title. Now, if we try to modify the search bar filter to men, it will have all the products with product type as jeans and men word in the search. In this case, results will also include the women word in the title. Now let us see only search bar filter. Here I am searching bag. We get to see two products. Then I am selecting both the products by selecting the checkbox given above the list of the filtered products. Now, when I click on do edits in bulk, it returns several options of attributes which I can work on. Let us try to assign the Google product category to these two products. Then a pop-up will show up. If you click on the text insert field of the pop-up, app shows all the Google product categories. But, you don't have to go through them all to find the relevant category that can be applied to these two products. Now, when I try to search the bags in the category search, I am not able to find any category that can be applied to both the selected products. Because, one is backpack, and another is a trolley bag. So, I am unchecking the trolley bag and trying to assign the category to only backpack bag. Now, you can see category has been assigned to that product, and product has gone into pending status. Let me tell you, pending status of the products in the app, means that product will be submitted to Google Merchant Center within next 10 minutes. You don't have to do anything to push it to Merchant Center. Now, let us work with another bag. Select it. Do edits in bulk. Assign Google product category. Find the right category that is applicable to this product and click on apply in bulk. Let us try another product type filter. This time let us go for jackets. Now we have four products. Select all the products. Assign Google product category. Let us search jackets and see if there is any relevant category for jackets. Here we go, it is there. Select it. Apply in bulk. Press OK. Once again these four products, including their variants which are eight in total, have gone in the pending status. This time let us try search bar. I am searching tie in the search bar. Selecting all the products. Do edits in bulk. Search a category that can be applied to ties. Select the right one. Apply in bulk. Category assigned to all the tie products. Click on filter products. Select Google product category. Now, 
as we want to work on only those products which are yet to be assigned a category i am selecting no category applied now we have all the products which are not assigned any product category in the remaining products i can find there are many earrings let us go for it applying the filter of earring selecting all do edits in bulk assign google product category searching earring from the list of categories selecting appropriate category for earrings apply in bulk now there are no products showing up in the list as all the products with earring in the title are assigned a product category now let me remove the filter of earring now let us see how to apply edits in bulk when filtered products are spread across multiple pages of the list let us search jeans we have more than 50 jeans products in our demo catalog now we have 97 jeans products and first page shows only first 50. when you tick this checkbox by default it will select only the products on the first page but if you are confident that products in the subsequent pages can also be applied the same edit then select all the number of products filtered by clicking on this link then click on do edits in bulk now assign google product category search the right category for these products and apply in bulk now if you think you have applied the wrong category to any group of products just apply the relevant filters again to select that group of products then select all do edits in bulk assign google product category leave this field blank here then click on apply in bulk that will remove the already assigned google product category values similarly you could have selected the correct google product category and applied the bulk edit to modify the already assigned values now let us see how to assign other attributes please keep in mind that age group gender color and size are required attributes only for apparel products and not for any other kind of products it is very important and may reduce a lot of work for you if you are advertising products other than apparel let us assign age group to some of the products here i am applying the filter of the google product category with earring again selecting all the products do edits in bulk assign age group selecting adult and applying in bulk now let us go back to jeans products applying the filter of jeans selecting all okay here is the catch i have a jacket with jeans word in the title and because of that word jacket is getting in this list of filtered products since i am assigning the age group i will keep it selected now again all the products have turned to pending status now let us search the jackets last time we had assigned the product category to all the products which had a product type value of jackets but seems two products have a different product type in the shopify setup yes product type is different if you check them on their detail pages let us first assign the product category now i will assign the age group to all the jacket products adult value will be assigned to jackets for adults and there is a one jacket for kids now similarly custom label values can also be assigned and removed too i want to set the custom label zero value as high margin for jackets products so selecting all the jackets and then assigning custom label zero value as high margin 
Now, for jeans, I want to assign custom label zero value as low margin. Once you have assigned any custom label value, if you wish to apply the filter of the custom labels, you can select the appropriate custom label value filter and then enter the exact value of custom label you may have entered before. We don't show custom label values in the form of drop-down. Repeating again, you will have to type the exact same custom label value you have entered in the field to apply the filter. We don't have drop-down option for custom labels. Now, let us see how to filter the products according to tag. Filtering products according to tag can work like anything if you have tagged your products very precisely. When you try to apply the filters based on tag, the app does not load all the tags as a drop-down option. You will have to type the first few characters of the tag you wish to select as a filtering option. Then, the rest of the process of applying the bulk edit is the same as other filtering options. Please note that you can apply different options of filters to reach to an even smaller group of products. All the bulk edits made in the app will convert products into pending status. Products pending in the app means they will be submitted to Google Merchant Center in the next 10 minutes automatically. For the details of other kinds of edits, we have specific videos. Links are shared in the description. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kinds of digital marketing. We are working to start a completely free course on YouTube that will help you learn digital marketing through Google, Facebook, and other marketing channels. See you again in another video.